here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School, the place to be if you want to make cool crafts with me. That's right, made a rhyme, I'm a poet, and I totally knew it. Oh no, I blew it. <coughs> Didn't, psych, that was awesome. So what are we gonna make? It's right, you see it. Today we are making a Finding Dory and Finding Nemo inspired fishbowl nightlight. Oh, that's a mouthful. What should we call this? Let's call it a Nemo nightlight. So we got a little fishbowl here and we've got some little lights that we can turn on. We are going to paint fish and water and all kinds of sea, oceana, whatnot around the sides and then we're just gonna plunk those, those lights in there and we're gonna have a little nightlight. It's awesome, it's like having a fish bowl in your room, like a fish for a pet, except you don't have to feed it or name it or, you know, snuggle with it. Although, you know, you could. You could snuggle with it. All right, so what do you need to make this craft? One small fish bowl, LED lights, paint brushes, paint, paint pens, plastic plates, and paper towels, you know, so don't make a huge mess. I'm not wearing my napkin pants today, okay? What do we do now? Let me think. We could talk about the weather. We could talk about my super special recipe for meatloaf. I make it vegetarian style, but I listen to meatloaf on the CD player while I make it. We could talk about, um, oh, I know what we could do. We could make this craft. So first of all, let's draw a fish on here that looks kind of like Dory. Let's just get started here. I'm gonna use my blue paint pen. All right, so I've got the first little steps of our, our Dory fish here. And let's use a little bit of this paint here to fill her in. So this is a little bit of a lighter blue than Dory is, but that's all right. Paint and fish, paint and fish. Sometimes I'm just painting fish. So there you see, we got a little Dory that we're working on there. That's looking pretty cute, oh my gosh. So let's let that paint dry a little bit and then we'll add like her fins and her eyeballs, fish eyes. Nemo's got a lot more going on, oh my gosh, Nemo. Nemo's basically just got kind of a round little potato head. There's a little Nemo head. It just looks kind of like a little peanut almost. Okay, now let's do our little fins, our little wings, our little little arms. What are they called? I think they're just called fins. See, there's our little Nemo. We're working on it. It's looking pretty cool. And you don't have to make your fish look like Nemo or Dory. You can make your fish look like any old fish in the sea. So we're looking pretty dry here on our Dory. So I'm going to do those eyes. Here you go. See? Pretty cool. Black here in the mouth. There's the first little outline of Dory's fin there. Got a little fin on the side too. Okay, cute. Again, I'm doing a lot of detail here that you don't have to do. You don't have to do all that stuff. I don't know, I just like doing it. So we'll let that dry a little bit more. So in the meantime, I'm gonna draw some ocean water. I'm just going to start making some little sort of like wavy water lines. And this, you do not have to worry about getting this perfect at all. Oh. All right, almost done with our little wavy water lines here. And I didn't do them all the way on the bottom, so it's okay for me to go ahead and pop that right back down. So this is what we're working with right now, and that is, I gotta say, looking pretty darn cool. Nemo's got some little black borders here to the wings. I keep calling them wings, they're not wings. Oh my gosh, what are these flying fish? No way, these are fins. And like I said, if you wanna do some other fish that you made up, by all means, do that. And if you make up a fish of your own, then you know it doesn't matter if you get it quite right because you're making it up. So if somebody says, hey, it's not where the fin goes, the fin doesn't go on the front of the nose. Just be like, whatever it does on my fish. What else you got going on, Nemo? All right, so we added some eyes to Nemo. They look a little crazy right now because they don't have pupils. So don't look at them and get freaked out. Let's add a little more of this white detail to Nemo. Got some white stripes. Oh my gosh, this is a long craft. You know what they say, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You can do it, Carol. I'm gonna add a little yellow to Dory. It's looking great, cool. We got these other colors here. We could draw some other fish. I'm gonna add a little purple fish. These fish are a lot simpler. Well, we should probably have a hot pink fish. See, we got some other little fishies now swimming around. 
that's cool. You can add a little starfish. You can add a little SpongeBob. Let's see, I think I'm ready to give Nemo some pupils. All right, cool. So we got some eyes here on our Nemo. Check it out. Now let's add some little eyeballs here for Dory. It's looking pretty awesome. Or yeah, as Crush might say, dude, that's awesome. I think we've got ourselves a pretty awesome Find the Dory, find the Nemo, fishbowl, night light. Except, oh my gosh, we have to actually add the light part. I'm pop these guys in here and they do different colors. It's funny. And check it out. We got a night light. Look, all the lights are off and I'm not even scared. And there you have it, boys and girls, our cool little fish globe nightlight, or just decoration, whatever you want to use it for. Awesome, we got Dory here, we got Nemo. I found them both, look, they're right there. Problem solved, guys. And there's no shame in the game if you have a nightlight in your room. You're never too old for a nightlight. I have one. And if you don't want to make this into a nightlight, you could fill it up with candy. It could be a candy jar. I like that idea. Fill it up with change, you know, if you're saving up for some candy or some glitter, you know. Oh, put glitter in there. That would be cool. Actually, oh my gosh, it's a cool idea. Fill it up with blue and green and white glitter. Make it look like the ocean. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea. If they were a little bigger, you could turn it upside down and put it on your head and go to space, but it's a little... A little too small for my head. I got a big old noggin. I want to see what your fishbowl nightlight looks like. Take a picture, have your mom or dad post it to Instagram, tag me, tag Cool School, and I can't wait to see them. And get down there in the comments and tell me what craft you want to see next. I listen. Craft, whoop, cheek, yep, there you go. I did it. You guys asked for it. Here we go. You can write us a letter. Here's our address right over here. And remember, Miss Booksy and I are gonna do an extra super special awesome craft involving all of your letters. And we're gonna read them in a video. So keep those letters coming. That's right. And chocolate coins. Stickers. I like that. That was awesome. Drawings. Oh, we love seeing your pictures. Anyway, you'll get the idea. Send us a letter. You can subscribe. Click right up there to watch some more crafts. Our ocean bottle. That's cool. It's also a little, little Finding Dory-esque. And that's it. The lights are all off and I'm not even scared because I got my cool nightlight. Thumbs up.